Hello everyone, welcome back to Final Frontier 2. In the last episode, I built this reactor, or in the last two episodes I built this reactor and supplied it with fissile fuel. See it's got plenty in there, I did run it for a little bit. I've got a little bit of waste over here. This is something I now need to process. So in this episode, I am going to be processing all the waste that I'm getting from here. And then hopefully I'll be converting the steam into power as well. Because that is the ultimate goal of this, but I don't know how long that's going to take me. I have noticed that I do... I'm pressing shift right now and nothing's happening. I think my camera is somehow glitched into the shift position. So everything's looking really low for me and I don't like it, but I don't know how to fix it. So I'm gonna have to live with it. Oh, sticky keys. But anyway, yeah, just look how low down I am. I don't like this. But I'm fine in third person. But in first person, it's weird. Anyway. With the waste, I need an isotopic centrifuge and a neutron activator. Those are the two machines I need. Oh, how do I make that? Oh damn, this isn't even, this is not something I've dealt with before. Okay, so I'm going to need to go through a whole process here to get this by the looks of it. Okay, so I need a pressurized reaction chamber. Just stick my long range upgrade back in here. Just before I started the episode, I did go into the nether and put a bit more priority on the power here. So these things are running and getting a decent amount of diamonds, which is just what I wanted, and ancient debris. Perfect. Also some uranium ore, which I do need actually. Can I also get fluorite from here? Yes. With a light grey laser lens. But a minimum of Y15. Okay, so if I go up to Y15 here, fluorite becomes an option. Let that run for a bit, see if it does. Because I can still get diamonds at 15 and ancient debris at 15. And uranium? Yes. But now hopefully I'll also be getting fluorite. May have to make some laser lenses. And the reason I'm saying this, the reason I need the uranium and fluorite is for making this fizzle fuel. Because I've run out of uranium here, which is needed to make this. I'm alright with fluoride actually, I've got quite a bit of that. But it's mainly uranium that I need. But I just want to see if that does get fluoride. I might have to wait a bit. Yeah, let's just leave that running for a bit and see what it gets. Anyway, where was I? I was making these pellets. 
I need substrate, biofuel, which is just crushed vegetation, so that's fine. But then I need to compression reaction it. I need probably need to make a second one of these then. It's an extra amount of steel, so let's make some of that. I don't I want that. Okay, and then I need this ethylene. How on earth do I get ethylene? Okay. So you get ethylene as a byproduct from making the substrate. That's fine then. What can this actually be used for in various that's it, just used to make more for the liquid ethylene. Yeah, it's not really used for much other than making HTP pedalets, which makes rods. I'm just curious what this actually does. Is that really just used as a stick? Or it's plastic basically, isn't it? Uh, but it looks like I might need a bit of this in order to make some of these when I get there. Oh. See, this is why we need goddamn turbine. Okay, so I'm going to need oxygen and hydrogen, so that's actually perfect for an electrolytic separator. Where am I going to set this up? Should I just do it here in this wall? But it's not like I'm really going to need... Or should I put it next to here? Because this is also producing plastic. Just a different kind of plastic, isn't it? So this can be my plastic production area. So we'll have the separator, which will then make the oxygen and the hydrogen. And then we're going to need the two of these. And I'll just link over power. That's because of the shifting thing that I mentioned earlier, isn't it? Glitching into the ground. Oh, that's pressurized tube. Why am I picking any of this up? There you go.
Right, I don't know what glitch is causing that, but it is annoying. Right, let's get a bit of water in here as well. So we just need to go from here, one, two, three, four, five, five across from it. Back into glitchy mini mode. What if I hover? That might work a bit better. So one, two, three, four, five. And that should take us behind. Oh, not quite. And we can feed water in back here. We get the mechanical pipe. Fill that in. God, I really hope I figure out how to fix that glitch. So now I can't do this because it's got me in sneak mode, right? I'm going to have to somehow... Oh wait, no, I'm on rotate, that's why. So, which side do I... So I want the oxygen to go in here and the hydrogen to go in here. Oh wait, that's uh, here, this one. That's got the hydrogen, that's got the oxygen. And this needs water as well, doesn't it, actually? Right? Yes, hydrogen water. And I'm guessing the gas is what the ethylene is, because you can turn it into liquid ethylene, so it must be a gas. I know you need the liquid ethylene in here. But that produces that, so I need to get a condensing thing. Condensing, rotary condenser. So if I just quickly make one of those.
Oh yeah, power. Right, I'll do it back here then, because then I should be able to get some power into it and rework these cables though. Oh my god. Right, and then that'll have power. So I'm condensing, aren't I? So it needs to be going this way. Okay, it is. So I need the gas input on the side and the fluid output on that side. No! Ah, God. Okay. So let's just grab a tank and we'll chuck the stupid liquid hydrogen in there. So we've got four lots of machines. Let's get some upgrades for that. Okay, so if I just get, so how can I make this with saplings? I would imagine so, right? That's probably the easiest thing that I'll just have. Might have a lot of seeds I can use. I reckon I have lots of seeds just in here. Oh, actually, yeah. Preventing the whole thing from doing anything. Let's take all the seeds out.
Whoops, did not realise the system had gotten so jammed. But at least it gives me something, plenty of things to crush. Let's just let that empty. I'd completely forgotten that the seeds were filling up there. Let's just chuck this here. So, crusher. Why is the item not outputting? Because that's not an input. There we go, HDPE pellet. Just like we needed. And it looks like we've got a positive output of ethylene. So more than we need to actually make these HDPE pellets. Let's just go old school vanilla and stick our hopper on here. And make sure the items can input on the front. The machines go faster than the hopper. Okay, well that was actually quite easy. So now we've got the pellets. We need to enrich them into the sheets. I only needed one sheet. I did all that for one sheet. Quite ridiculous. Now I can make the solar neutron activator. I've got the isotopic centrifuge. Can we take those over to here? stick them here. Now I believe this needs to be input on the bottom. Right, now we can't break anything. Once we place stuff down and it gets this waste in it, we can't break it because then it will just pollute everything. That's not something that I want to do. So now this has nuclear waste in it. Uh, 
I did not think about powering this. Okay, there's no nuclear waste in here, so I can break this. Stick it in there, and then the input on here, just make sure gases input on the back. And then I can run power up here. This one doesn't need power because it's solar activated. And the glitchy. Sh Whoa, how did I break through there? Why is this so glitchy? Right, I'm pretty sure this was the level I had my power cables on. Let's go find them. So if we activate this, it's quite loud, but it should slowly start filling up this with nuclear waste and we'll start making some polonium and some plutonium. Okay. So now with this polonium and plutonium. So I need to get a couple more pressurized reaction chambers, both with water, right? Yeah, both with water. And some fluorite by the looks of it. So we are going to need to build up some more fluorite. Speaking of fluorite, I just remembered we should go check, see if that miner is building up some fluorite. It's got one, which is fine. That's what we needed, but let's chuck this into the system. That's a mechanical pipe. I'm going to go kill that gas because we are always at some point hunting for gas. So while there's one here, let's get his tears. The fluorite needs a light grey laser lens and uranium needs a lime laser lens. Let's go make some of those. And how is our quintupling system running? Oh, it is, it is getting a bit stuck. Is it night time? No. Is it just not receiving any power? No. Let's find in here ore processing. I should probably put up to priority eight. Because I've got the storage on 10, the reactor on 9, or mine on 8. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is. That must be night time now. Okay, right. Thanks for watching, everyone. In the next episode, we'll try and convert the polonium and plutonium into actual 
pellets. I'm going to get some laser lenses. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye.